What's going on, guys? Brett and Steven here with The BS Show. Once again, we got our Car Chronicles, where we are going to talk about some great fights coming up in the UFC. And one of the fights that Steven and I wanted to talk about was UFC Fight Night on October 26th. Um, Damian Maya versus Ben Askren. And I feel like this fight card, this well, this not necessarily this card, but this fight in particular is not getting the talk that it is due. Um, that fight in particular, you know, Ben Askren was a, the hype train was on his mm -hmm. side coming into the UFC. And, you know, obviously he was a, a champion in every promotion he ever fought in. He came into the UFC. He was traded from one for DJ. Right. For, wasn't that the first UFC trade ever? I think so. I think, yeah. I think so too. I didn't even know they could do that I, until that. Yeah. I didn't either. And, you know, then he comes into the UFC and you know, beats Robbie Lawler, which that was kind of like Yeah, a, that was iffy. Eh. So then he fights Jorge Masvidal. He's talking all this smack. And then Masvidal gets the fastest, I think, KO in UFC history. I think so. And then everything just disappeared with Ben mm -hmm. Askren. Like, I legitimately haven't heard anything of Ben Askren other than if I'm, if I'm searching him out. So, you know, I think that a lot of people thought he was great because on all these other organizations, maybe they think is less caliber than the UFC, which I would I would agree with. Most organizations outside of the UFC are probably considered, you know, maybe subpar. A step below, yeah. Right. So I think when Ben Askren came to the UFC, a lot of people had a lot of unanswered questions. And really, he should be 0-2, if you think about it. I, mean, I think so, yeah. When he was fighting Robbie Lawler, that fight could have been stopped. I mean, he was pounding on him. Dude, yeah. Robbie Lawler came out and just teed off on him, and it went to the ground. And Ben Askren's arm was stuck, and he was just getting hit in the head. Right. We were like, well, <laughs> I think we learned right. how good Ben Askren really is when it comes to like this caliber of fighter. Right. But he made it through, got that bulldog choke people are still questioning whether he went limp or not but it's in the past though the the victory Nothing, goes to you him. can't change anything about and it. then the mazadal fight we'd even really get to see how he would do in that fight that I fight know. was over before it even started it felt like so now we get to see him fight someone who's also a grappler a good grappler but someone who has probably better striking than him as a grappler and right. Damian Maya who actually for a jiu-jitsu guy has pretty decent striking right nothing nothing to rave about but for someone who came in just strictly as a jiu-jitsu guy he's come a long way with his striking and right. I think that might be the difference maker in this fight I agree but who do you think's gonna win if Ben Askren gets him down and holds him down and ground and pounds him do you see Damian Maya catching him in anything, or do you feel like Ben Askren will kind of control the ground game a little bit? I don't think Ben Askren can control the ground game because Damian Maya might have the best jujitsu in Dude. the UFC. You know, and and he, he's getting older too, though. So he, he's getting older, but Damian Maya, you know, he's had multiple title shots. He's been in the UFC for a long time. You know, he, even though we say his striking isn't that great, he went toe to toe. With uh, Tyron Woodley, who yeah. was the champion at that time. Obviously, that fight was a stinker. I mean, I fell asleep during it. But at the same time, Tyron Woodley knocked out Robbie Lawler. Mm -hmm. You know, he uh, not knocked him out, but he got a stoppage with Robbie Lawler. Tyron Woodley, for a while, we thought, there's no one that's going to be able to beat this guy. And let's not forget Damian Maya. He was on a killer streak before he lost to Tyrone Woodley. I mean, he beat Carlos Condit, who's like a killer striker. I right. mean, you know what I mean? Right. So he has some he has some elite skills in MMA, and I feel like I still don't know about Ben Askren. Like we still haven't seen enough. He's had two mm -hmm. fights so far in MMA, but they've both been like weird and wonky. Yeah. You know it's I mean? been very weird, <laughs> yeah. and I was I was so excited that Masvidal won that fight, and the way that he won it, obviously mm -hmm. Masvidal deserves. But I was more excited to see what's going to give here: Masvidal striking or Ben Ben Askren's wrestling. Something's got to give, mm -hmm. and we didn't get to see it. But I I feel like with this fight, Ben Askren and Damian Maya are both such high level practitioners in both sides of what they do. Damian Maya in jujitsu and, and Askren and wrestling. Yeah. You gotta go what well what's the next thing? And I think the striking is next. And Damian Maya I would have to give the edge to because it's not like Ben Askren's gonna take him down mm -hmm. and have a guy who's not used to being on the ground. What's everybody's game plan versus Damian Maya? Just keep it standing. Yep. Don't go to the ground. What's Ben Askren's game plan versus everyone? Take it to the ground. Right. Don't stand up. Absolutely. So we're going to see. We've seen wrestlers out grapple jujitsu guys, though, a bunch in MMA. But 
I mean, like like we're saying, Damian Maya is wicked on the ground. So well, and he's weathered. I mean, Damian Maya has fought, you know, as I like to say, the who's who in MMA. But he has. I mean, if you look up his mm-hmm. record right now, you're going to see a litany of names that have been around the UFC mm-hmm. for five, ten, twelve years, and and Ben Askren hasn't to this point, in my opinion, fought a guy who is just as well versed on the ground as mm-hmm. he is him. Even though it's two different aspects. Damian Maya, if Damian Maya gets taken down, he's comfortable on his back. Dude, props to um, Ben Askren though, because this is a risky fight. It's to a very take, risky you know, fight. Coming after, maybe, maybe he just wants his brain to heal, so he doesn't want right. to fight a striker. You know what right. I mean? After that wicked knockout. Well, if if Ben Askren loses this fight, then all the naysayers of Ben Askren are going to be sending there saying, "I told you so," because he's going to be zero and two or one and mm-hmm. two in the UFC. Should be zero and three, mm-hmm. and. And a lot of people didn't like the move with Ben Askren because they said, well, he's one-dimensional and he's never fought anybody. And now it's going to be kind of like, eh, we kind of told you. Right. So Ben Askren, this is a absolute must win for Ben Askren. Damian Maya is still, I feel like, a top five guy. But he's kind of on the back nine of I his career. I feel like he's over the hill, I, I do, too. I do, too. I mean, and that's not saying he's still not a great fighter, but no, I feel yeah. like... If Damian Maya woke up tomorrow and said, "Hey, I'm calling it," a, a he's career, not going to be a champion. No, he won't be. He's but he's going to be that roadblock that these up and comers yeah. are going to have to go through. He's going to be a gatekeeper for right, sure. Right, right, and he's a big name, and you know, it's just you know, it's going to be a good fight. And, it's funny because I'm expecting a grappling match, right, with these right. two. But watch it be a striking match. Watch them both keep it on the feet. That's how it always goes. Right? It's weird. And But from what I've seen, I will make it very clear. From the striking that I've seen from Ben Askren, I'm not impressed at all. No. I mean, no. It, it almost looks like... What he, striking? Yes. And <laughs> if you look at any fight that he's had, he's only striking to initiate the takedown. Mm-hmm. He's only throwing stuff. And then trying to get into it for the One take hand's down. overhanding, and the other one's going behind the knee, trying to grab <laughs> yeah. the knee. You know that, what I mean? He's, that, all he wants is that takedown. And whenever, when we were watching the fights tonight, um, you know, they made good points. It's like, when you're so good on the ground, you cannot worry about the takedown. Mm-hmm. And that's what Damian Maya's going to do. Ma- Maya's going to be like, hey, man, take me down. I don't care, because he's going to feel confident. Mm-hmm. So if we had to make a fight pick... Who, you, who, who would you go with? Man, so I know Maya does like to take the back on the ground, but Aunt Askren's going to try to sit belly to belly and stand on, like, sit on top of him and ground and pound and, like, make it a slow grind. But I think I have to go with Damian Maya. I mean, in my eyes, he's just more proven to me. I haven't seen enough of Ben Askren to really, like, be confident in, like, choosing Ben Askren to win this fight, to be honest. But I've seen Damian Maya beat killers. I've seen him beat people that I didn't think he was going to beat. Going back to Carlos Condit, you know right. what I mean? I didn't see him winning that fight. Right. But he got Carlos Condit down, took his back, and slept him. And he went five rounds with Tyrone Woodley, who's a right. killer. Right. I just feel like he's weathered in the UFC, like you said. And I feel like he's proven, and I think he's going to win. Well, and that that fight with Tyron Woodley's only been, what, in the past couple of years? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's not like, well, we're talking about something from 2009. Mm-hmm. Like, this is recent history. So, I'm going to piggyback off, uh, off you and I'm not keeping it spicy no more and just going with the other pick. <laughs> Every time I do that, I, I end up getting beat. So I'm going Damian Maya with everything Steven said. He's too weathered. He's seen it all. He's seen some of the best strikers in the in the UFC, mm-hmm. if not ever. And he's won those. And then he's got some of the best jujitsu in the UFC. I'm gonna go Damian Maya. And Ben Askren's gonna play into Damian Maya's game here. Like right. there's no question about that. But that's our picks, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Do you see us being wrong on this pick? And tell us why, because I'm very curious to see who has been Askren winning this fight and why. Because we've probably seen him twice in a couple other fights mm-hmm. when he was in the UFC. But I've never really been imp- that impressed on Ben Me Askren. Neither. Even when he's won, I'm like, man, this guy just doesn't really He, do like, it. grinds it out. Yeah. Right, right. But that's our thoughts, guys. That's it for this one, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>